The delay in passing these bills highlights a growing distrust in government institutions. What's striking is that members of the Black Caucus, often seen as champions of reparations, are among those blocking progress, leaving advocates disillusioned and skeptical. This unexpected opposition breeds feelings of betrayal, raising questions about whether political leaders are truly committed to meaningful change or more concerned with preserving their careers. If the reparations bill doesn't reach a broader audience, the conversation around race and reparations will remain a thorny, deeply divisive issue. No, the speaker needs to bring the bills up now, now, now. 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 It's, these are their bills. They, have, they names on the bills. They kill them, they own bills because they're scared of the government. Now, listen, they're going to see this and they're going to get mad at us. They kill their own bills, then then, then they're gonna get mad at us. They kill their own bills and they scale us. Okay? We don't care. We don't we need to we understand this. Now, the governor, now, the governor now, needs now, to understand that now. the world is watching California and this is gonna have a direct impact on your friend Kamala Harris, who's running for president. This is gonna have a direct impact. So Pull up the bills now, vote on them and sign them. We 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 have We've to been vote. waiting for over four hundred years. Oh. The debate touches on concerns over financial responsibility, governance, and individual accountability. The idea of direct cash reparations, in particular, stirs controversy. Many see it as a redistributive measure that could burden taxpayers, especially small businesses and individuals already grappling with high taxes. For the public, the conversation around reparations raises red flags about government overreach the proper use of public funds, and how far the state should go in addressing social issues. Some view Governor Gavin Newsom's hesitation to endorse the bill as a calculated political move, reflecting the risks associated with backing reparations during a time of financial strain and tepid public support. Despite some organizational backing, the lack of widespread public consensus and financial backing shows just how difficult it is to push through ideologically-driven policies. 